Hey guys, so today we're going into phase three, and that is we're gonna set the height of the windows. So build out that top layer. That's the bottom of, or the top of the hutch, the bottom of the windows, somewhere right in here. And the back window and the window over there, plus the door to the uh, run, will all be determined today. Uh, I think I'm gonna bring the hutch up here, set it up against here and just Kind of take a look at it and make sure that it's all going to work out correctly. And then I'm going to frame all this out. And i got to be careful not to box myself out of being able to put the floor in here. Because i still got to finish phase one flooring. Right? So, this will be fun. Let's get started. Up here with the tractor. And I just, I've got it precariously balancing on the side here. So, looking at trying to figure out how this is going to work and where it's going to fit and if there's enough room for a window. That's what I'm really trying to figure out is where am I going to put this 2x6. So I kind of guesstimated it here. Now that I've got it sitting here, uh, it looks to me like I think the distance above, this space above it should be about twice what's below it. And right now it's sitting just a little bit too high, I think. So also, I'm pretty crowded in here, so I've got my, you know, if this is the 2x6, that means this is the opening for the window from here to here. There's trim inside the window, there's trim outside the window, there's the roof, and then there's the top of the hutch, and there's no gaps. So if I could slide this down an inch, inch and a half, uh, that would give me better balance between the top and the bottom, give me a little space between the trim and the top of the hutch when it's all done. The only thing I gotta watch out for is that that closes this gap where the birds come through. Right now it's about 11 inches, maybe 10 and a half. So that might go down to about nine, which I think is still good. But there'll be some flexibility. Now remember, this, this uh, bottom doesn't have to be on the um, two by six because this will all be sheeted with plywood so I can slide this thing up and down wherever I want it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put this where I had planned to put it, but it'll be slid down probably when we get to it. All right, so I'll start on this again tomorrow. So I've got just about all this framing done all the way up here. Let's start with the back. Uh, I've made it a five and a half feet wide back here for the two double doors because I want the doors to be about two and a half feet on the big door and then the inside door will be smaller of course. So that's five foot and a half inch just for all the spacing and the gaps between them. And let's see, so we got this little bump out here. I'm not really sure why he does that, but uh, I think it's so that you don't have to have these top doors all the way open and you can still open the bottom. So that's probably why. So inside, we've got, we're now uh, framed out for the hutch and for the window above it. And on the front wall, got the door to the run and the window above that and then this side just mirrors the other side and I got all the blocking in up here around the top got one coat of paint on. I'm gonna put one more coat of paint the stuff that's not painted will be covered by the um, high density and everything out here will be covered 
So this is all going to get sheeted. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about some dimensions. I mean, the decisions have been made now, so now we're going to have to live with them. I'm feeling pretty good about it. It kind of feels right, but I also always worry that there'll there's some something in there that I haven't seen yet. So we'll figure it out when we start putting these windows and doors in. But I thought I'd put the tape measure up here and show you the bottom here is four feet down from the top. So you got a two by six, and then the next two by six is at ten and a half up from that, which puts the top of it at sixteen. And we're at twenty-seven and a half for the phase three, the window level. A little less than twenty-seven and a half. Thirty-three at the top of that, and all the way up here at 42 and a half and then uh, you know it's going to go on up to four feet so the windows well let's start with the hutch door here let me set this down so i don't have this piece in yet because this is the only way to get the uh that's the only way to get that high density in there so i got to put that flooring in before i do too much more so the hutch the opening for that is four feet, right? And then above that, this window is four feet as well. Let's see how tall we got here. I'm trying to give you some measurements so you don't have to guess. Nine and a half inches for the opening, right? Four foot wide, nine and a half tall. And the windows, all the windows are at the same level. So it just wraps right around. This back window is five feet wide and the door to the run is 10 inches wide and 13 and a half inches tall this will all be sheeted all the way up to the top here all right and then over here is just the same thing so what's next uh probably gonna sheet uh probably sheet the front or the the back and the front and this side and then I'll slide the flooring in, put all the floor joists in, put the whole deep litter method box in there, and then uh, sheet the last side. And cut out all the windows and doors. And then we'll go into uh, the next phase, which is building all those windows and doors. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.